Hey everybody, welcome to another Low on Health Rambling. This is uh, Rose. Today is Sunday. Um, oh, I forgot what month it was for a second. March 23rd, or near enough as makes no matter. It's a Sunday of Megacon. Jimmy went to uh, check out at the uh, hotel. I went ahead. Here he is catching up to me now. Catching me doing one of his ramblings without him. I told him what date it was and stuff. I forgot how much I don't like the Orlando foresty mildewy. Uh, I love it. We had that at Celebration. I just had that while coming up through <clears> here <throat> because it's kind of uh, dewy and such. You want to take over? No, no, you're good. We'll leave, we'll leave soon. But well, yeah, yeah you, like, uh, you take that. Just takes a little bit more out of just like the mildew in the air. It's just not fun. Yeah, it's a nice environment though. Yeah, I mean, it's better than anything down in like Tampa. Yes. Yes. It's more pleasant. We have overhang to shade us. Even though it's not very sunny right now. Do you explain why we're walking instead of taking the car? Not yet. No, I just started when Apparently you walked up. Apparently yesterday. They, they uh, turned away thousands because Apparently. Megacon was sold out according to Annie. So hopefully her, Ill, her, hopefully her intel is correct. Um, so I was extremely concerned that we would A, not have parking, or B, have to wait a really long time for parking, forcing us to be late to get to our table, which Jimmy always likes to get there early. I prefer to get there early if possible. Um, and um, also B-roll there, worried about, you know, taking a parking spot for someone that maybe wasn't able to get into the con yeah, yesterday, nice it, so. but might be able to today. Whereas right now we have dedicated parking, our display is smaller than ever, so we can make it back. We're not going to be in any rush when we come back because, um, well, we're going to have to wait on the millions of other people that are trying to leave Megacon, and we really don't want to fight with that. And yeah, we'll I mean, just sit in traffic. Leave, when we leave, we should probably go north. So, yeah. Okay, but... As always, thank you guys for watching. We'll definitely do one of these inside. I know I forgot to do one yesterday, but that was because we were busy. Yesterday with was was nuts. Yeah. So yes, but, but today should be a little bit more low key. Hopefully, hopefully the thousands of people that they turned away yesterday, if that is indeed true, will be able to get in today. And if so, come buy our stuff. Red Thirteen Artist Alley. See you there. Hey everybody, low on health. MegaCon 2014 Day Three. Your voice is. My voice is once again blown from the convention. This is, of course, Rose. Hello. She is driving. Look, there's a car. She's not doing the, the videoing, but I am, so. Yeah, he's holding no, it. No, no um, safety. My hands are on the wheel. There's safety uh, concerns there. <laughs> um, one thing, I apologize for not doing a lot of videos inside the convention. We were busy. Um, we've been busy, and I've actually been trying to give Rose more time to uh, um, walk the hall. We got a lot of light on us. I'm sorry about that, people. Got, All of a sudden, I got the sun setting. Boom, right there. I probably got overblown the, the camera there. Here, I'll sit back so there's less sun. No, it's not a big deal. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, we basically, uh, it wasn't as busy as it was Saturday, which we were trying to still figure out, but it's yeah, probably I just don't a, know what was up with that. a matter of all the conventions happening at once. But uh, a good con, like I said, she had a lot of commission requests, in which case right now she has like four that you have to work on after the fact that are full I think colors. it's like four or five. I'm not sure um, of the count. I have all the, the information sheets. And the usual amount of people like, oh, we'll contact you after the con. You're like, okay, and like, so maybe we'll get another commission out of that, so it's cool. Um, but yeah, a good overall call. Still, still like the MegaCon experience. Like working it. Um, love the hotel. Still like the Rosen Inn. It's a really still just very happy very with nice the hotel. hotel. The staff's nice. The facilities. I mean, are nice. one down thing. We uh, we had we were stuck with getting a double. Yeah. But it still wasn't that bad. It, it was not bad. It gave us an extra workspace and stuff. It wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, right now we're basically on I-4 right now, kind of in traffic, but this is maybe pretty normal um, traffic. It's, it's probably Disney. We're right at, we're right close to one of the main Disney exits, so it might just be Disney Oh, traffic. we're all lit up and we're angels. Uh, Look at us. Um, but yeah, nice. so maybe I'll try to attach photos or upload photos of the different commissions he did and some pictures that we have. I got lots of magic cards, so you'll be, uh, you'll have to do a low on health video when we do like a draft or something. Ooh, yeah. ooh, let me, let me try and side yeah. by side with this van because that keeps the sun off us. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. where the lights coming off. Okay, anywho. <laughs> thanks everybody for watching these and everything and whatnot. Uh, it was a good convention, you know. Uh, we're probably going to, going to be doing the other conventions, uh, AFO, FAE. Um, and not then, having a booth, but we'll be attending. I would like to do a booth, but uh, it's not easy to do a booth It's not those. easy to do a booth um, if they don't have a dedicated artist alley because you can't leave your stuff up because it's not in a secure place. Yeah. That's the catch point. There's a lot of more issues with uh, yeah, artist alley yeah. for smaller cons. Um, there is the BronyCon coming up, which two different people uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, 
approach that's on doing, and I'll look at the numbers and whatnot and see if it's worth it. But it, maybe. maybe we did last year and it was man, but it could be better this year because it's a three day con. And most of her product is pony related and it sold. Um, interesting thing, real quick on stuff that we sold. Well, wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of bright sun. Um, yeah, right. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, <laughs> we sold out of stuff. Um, your Glados Pins. print, your Glados print sold out, and two of your yes. pins sold out. So that's just really cool to have stuff sell out. Um, like the Glados print, we sold the one bind that was in the book, and at the very end of the con, someone was really into it, so we sold them the one copy we had up in the display. Yeah, we sold them the display copy that was um, in the hanging behind us. Um, so that was kind of cool. We also are looking at other ways of doing the the, the table again. Probably gonna revamp it again for next year. Uh, but yeah, like overall, good con, good con experience. Of course, just dead tired, trying to get back. Looking forward to some steak dinner. Yum. Yeah, this is just Disney traffic right um, here because you see everybody trying to work. And then uh, I have Monday off, so I'm gonna relax and just enjoy yeah. life for Bastard. a while. Bastard. And then next weekend, Nikki's birthday, so we'll probably have a video Yay. from there. So. We'll have a video from there, yeah. As always, thanks everybody for watching and whatnot. Thanks for everybody that came out to uh, MegaCon. Uh, yes, Jeff thank you. Um, some other people, some of her friends came by. Jimmy came by, my cousin came by. It was, um, it was very cool. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching and yeah. we'll catch Thanks you next everybody. time.